Hi, I'm Kathy Schlegel, broker with Lucas Valley Properties and Region 4 Chair for the California Association of Realtors. It is no secret that the state of California is having record budget deficit problems and they're looking to realtors to help balance the budget. I'm going to share with you some proposals which have been raised in Sacramento and which affect all of us. The first is forced overwithholding on independent contractors. Last year, the Senate, on two separate occasions, passed legislation requiring withholding on independent contractors such as ourselves. This is how it works. We get paid a commission. Our brokers are required to take 3% of that commission and send it to the Franchise Tax Board. This is in addition to our quarterly estimated income tax payments we already pay. It's a credit that we get when we pay our taxes in April, but basically the state is borrowing money from us and earning interest on our commissions. CAR is concerned that this issue will surface again this year to help balance the budget. The second proposal is tax on services. Over the years, legislation has been proposed to tax services which have traditionally been tax exempt. Whereas now we pay taxes on goods, this would be a tax on services such as real estate commissions, escrow fees, home inspections, and so on. Even our sacred cow will be targeted mortgage interest deductions. Clearly, one of CAR and NAR's major political objectives is to preserve the mortgage interest deduction. Legislative interest is increasing on scaling back this deduction at both the state and the federal level. Until 1986, there were no deductions, there were no limitations on mortgage interest deductions, and in that year, legislation was passed limiting deductions to $1 million for first and second homes and $100,000 for home equity debt. CAR is worried that this is going to come again. Critics of the mortgage interest deduction have argued that it provides a disproportionate tax subsidy to the affluent. The Legislative Analyst Office has consistently recommended elimination of the mortgage interest deduction, contending it has little impact on the rate of home ownership. CAR consistently argues that the mortgage interest deduction encourages home ownership, thus promoting community stability and pride, employment, savings, and long-term investments. We will be fighting this issue again. How many of you have had problems with appraisals? We all have. Last year, CAR sponsored two bills aimed at improving the cost and the quality of appraisals. However, the legislature was not persuaded that we have a problem with the appraisal process. In response to concerns raised by CAR, Sacramento did agree to hold oversight hearings on appraisals in the fall. We will all need to get involved. We all have horror stories and these horror stories have to be heard in Sacramento. Please talk to your representatives and let them know your problems with appraisals. Now is the time that we as realtors must act. CAR's California Real Estate Political Action Committee has been in the top 10 of the PACs in the state in the past. However, today we rank 33rd. Our bills to clean up the appraisal issues were defeated and we're facing defeat in the Assembly on CAR's legislation to provide anti-deficiency protections on refinancings. Guess who's fighting against us? Financial institutions as well as other special interest groups. These special interest groups routinely outspend CREPAC. To preserve CAR's ability to fight for you, please remember to make your contribution to the Realtor Action Fund for 2010. If you haven't already done so, please contact MAR. It is a reality in political life that money talks. Those who raise the most money, their voices are heard the loudest. It's another reality 
that due to the present economic conditions, realtors across the state of California have significantly cut back their contributions to the Political Action Fund. Today, less than one in five members, or less than 20% of the California Association of Realtors have contribute, contributed to the Realtor Action Fund. Our traditional loud voice of realtors is on the verge of becoming a whisper. However, all is not doom and gloom. CAR did successfully fight forced overwithholding three times in the last year, and CAR helped preserve property profiles when title companies stopped providing them based on a letter issued by the Department of Insurance. Also, CAR helped defeat several pieces of legislation which had point-of-sale retrofit provisions which could have added as much as $20,000 per home per escrow. Thank you, and please don't forget to get involved.